Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. Here, uh, before we can do much, uh, much more complicated problems with hypothesis testing, we need to get some practice with how to write the null hypothesis and the alternate or the research hypothesis. So all of these problems, uh, we're not going to do the full hypothesis test, but we're going to get practice reading a real problem, pulling out the information from the problem, and writing the null hypothesis and writing the uh, alternative or the research hypothesis. And so when you get practice with that, because that's always the very first step in all of these problems, you have to be able to pull that information out, write the hypothesis down, and then in the subsequent sections, I'm going to actually show you how to perform the full-blown test and decide whether to reject or fail to reject that null hypothesis. So let's just jump right into problems. A company has stated that their soda straw manufacturing machine makes straws that are on average four millimeters in diameter. So we have a company that makes soda straws, you know, drinking straws, and it says that on average the diameter of the straws is four millimeters in diameter. But an employee believes that the machine no longer makes straws of this size, and to test this, he samples 100 straws to perform a hypothesis test with a 99% confidence level. And in all of these problems, what we're, we're not really being asked to perform the hypothesis test and figure out the answer. What we really want to do is write down the null and the alternate hypothesis. So when you read this problem carefully, you need to, to see exactly what it's telling you. It says, okay, the first sentence says uh, their soda straw machine makes uh, straws that are on average four millimeters diameter. That's what the company believes. But then the new guy comes along, the employee, and he believes the machine no longer makes straws of this size. So notice that all it really says is that the company believes the straws are four millimeters and the new guy thinks the straws are no longer four millimeters. It doesn't have anything about greater than or less than four millimeters or anything like that. It just says Originally, everybody thinks it's four millimeters. The new guy thinks it's not four millimeters. So that's important because some of these problems are going to have greater than less than, some of them won't. So in this case, the null hypothesis is what kind of the status quo belief is. And you can see from the very first sentence, um, what we're talking about is the mean, okay, the average value for the diameter of these soda straws. And the default hypothesis or the null hypothesis is that everyone thinks the mean is on average four millimeters. Okay, but then when you read the next sentence, an employee believes that this is no longer the case. So the alternate or the research hypothesis, the new guy thinks that it's no longer four millimeters. So on a test or a quiz, when you're asked to, be, to write down the null hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis, this is what you're asked to do. The null hypothesis is sort of the default belief innocent till proven guilty, so to speak, that the soda straw machine makes straws with this diameter.